Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to set up multiple switches to control one bearing. Now right now, this is not possible. I do believe that this will come to the game soon, but I need something now. So <laughs> I've been working on this a little bit. Now normally what we have is we can hit a switch that goes through a controller to a bearing that allows the door to open. And it, the bearing at the end of its cycle is actually gonna close on its own. But normally we would step through the door and be inside and be unable to actually open the door again. I do have a switch here, but as you can see, it doesn't work. And the reason being is that we can only connect one controller to a bearing. I can't do this here. So I actually had a video linked to me of a tutorial by Zasuma. If I'm pronouncing that right, I hope I hope I am. <laughs> and it had sensors that you could kind of step up to. Uh, if, for example, I had a sensor near the door, and as long as you stood in front of it, the door would slide up straight up above you, and you could step through. And once you had walked away from that sensor, the door would come right back down as soon as you stepped outside of it, because it changed the state again. But I actually want switches. I want to be able to hit a switch, have the door stay open as you know up to that eight seconds or so, and then close again naturally. Not only that, I want to be able to hit switches from any anywhere in my base and you can see these spider web of lines here I'm going to explain those <laughs> right now so essentially what I've done is I have the same door set up here and what we're doing is I've got a sensor here that's looking down here uh, for its on and off state essentially and right now it is off and what I've got is a long arm here that rotates 90 degrees every time and when it does that because this is a t-section it essentially blocks it one time and in the next time it's uh, rotated it unblocks it right so we get the on off state now what I've done is broken each block here into its own segment each has its own bearing and then those bearings are individually connected to switches so if I hit this switch it would rotate the very first one which happens to rotate all of them now because these are all set at 90 degrees it doesn't matter which one I hit it's going to do the alternate state so it's going to just rotate this around and it will be off or on essentially so we get one off or on state to connect to one bearing regardless of what switch we hit so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this on that's where you can see the spider web going out here we've got the various um, switches going to a controller that's telling it to rotate just 90 degrees that's it and then that controller is connected to its own bearing we've got eight here so as you can see they go all over the place I've got one up on a balcony up here I even have one outside so I can actually step out here and uh, hit E and you can see that the bar rotates around there and the door opens and of course it will naturally close on its own and again it doesn't matter where these are as long as they're connected to the same structure in the house you can drag these connecting lines and it will work. So the door is just closed. I could walk up to this one, for example. You'll see the arm rotate, which changes the state of the sensor, and that opens the door again, triggering its sequence. So anyway, I hope this I hope this helps you out. If, if this is something you've been looking for, I've been kind of looking around trying to find a solution to this. Again, I think that this is going to be a, a function that gets added to the game where we can maybe select multiple switches to go to one, or multiple controllers, perhaps, to go to one uh, bearing. But anyway, in the meantime, this will work, I think, pretty well right here you can see this is the only space we're really occupying other than the switches themselves so anyway like I said I hope that helps please do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this this helped you out a comment letting me know what you think do you have a better way have you seen somebody do it a different way uh, let me know I would definitely be interested in that otherwise I want to thank you guys for stopping in and I'll catch you next time well, it's been a while. I think uh, maybe an hour, maybe less. I've been playing around with this a bit, trying to get everything just right. I think I have it uh, all set up. I've got this over here and everything, but I have a new door now. I was playing around with that. So let me step out here and show you how everything is looking now that we've got the whole new setup. We have the multiple switches and a new door. You ready for this? Let's check it out. 